Well, it's the story of a little girl called a miracle by her mother. Doctors were not sure Peyton Wolf would live after a truck hit her. Marissa Alter has more on her recovery and the accident in her PRP neighborhood that nearly killed her. We're going to take a walk first. Peyton Wolf is relearning the basics. You are doing awesome. One step at a time. That's my baby. She's in there. But that wasn't certain back on June 3rd. Peyton was at her father's home on Sky Blue Avenue when she stepped into the street in front of a truck. Mom Jaquise Darden rushed there to see her little girl lying in the road. I didn't expect that. And it was a shock to me. You know, and then the, the police officer hands me, like, the shoe that got knocked off her foot, you know, and that's all I can remember doing is just, like, holding her shoe and just <sighs> deep breath, like, you know, like, just keep breathing, keep breathing. Doctors diagnosed a skull fracture and shattered eye socket, among other injuries. They removed part of her skull and placed Peyton in a medically induced coma for three weeks to protect her brain. Jaquise waited. I got a lot of I don't know. Like, we don't know about her survivability rate. We don't know if she'll come off the vent. We don't know if she's going to be a vegetable. We don't, we don't know at this point. But Peyton did come off the ventilator. She was paralyzed on her left side initially, but regained movement. You could start to see signs of her personality coming back. I felt like she's in there. She just needed to kind of come out. Four weeks ago, she moved from Cosair Children's Hospital to Fraser Rehab. Can you make a sunshine? Where her days are spent teaching her mind and body to do things it used to. Well, I like that one. When she arrived here, she couldn't stand up, speak, or feed herself. All goals she's met in her therapy. Use two hands. The driver who hit Peyton didn't face any criminal charges. Police determined it was an accident. We've all driven through a neighborhood and some kid on a bike just kind of darted out in front of you and that was the morning when you sat there and you grabbed your chest and go, oh my God, because you know what almost happened. He just wasn't that lucky that day. Let's push. Peyton's prognosis is still a bit unknown, but it is positive. She may still have some <laughs> things about her that are different um, than they could or would have been initially. But she'll learn to adapt to it. Yeah. That's a very good girl. She's just such a miracle to me. Peyton will go home soon, but still have outpatient therapy. She'll also need a future surgery to put back that portion of her skull. Her mother's next move is figuring out long term child care. At Fraser Rehab, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Her mother set up a GoFundMe page to allow her to take time off of work to be with Peyton. If you want to help or have knowledge about child care assistance options, we have a link on our website, WLKY.com.